Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, recently Microsoft rolled out the latest Dev Channel Insider Preview Build for this week. Build 26120.1542, which brought a Windows 10 feature to the taskbar. And I posted on that, and that video once again will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, over and above um, the official change log for this week's Dev Channel build, once again, we have a, another hidden feature that's been spotted uh, in the Dev Channel for this week. And once again, um, has been spotted by Phantom of Earth over on X. And it seems that the Windows 11's camera settings page uh, will be getting an advanced camera configuration section with two new options. So if we head over once again to screenshots provided by Phantom of Earth over on X, here we can see um, on the camera settings page, we've got advanced camera configuration. And when you click on edit, this little dialog and menu pops up with two new options, multi-app camera and camera basic mode. And these are both disabled by default in the dev build. 26120.1542 and can be enabled using once again the third party app VAF tool if you are interested and you are in the dev channel. Now the description for multi-app camera reads as designed for the hard of hearing community to allow multiple video apps to stream from this camera at the same time. Once turned on camera settings such as brightness can only be changed from this page and it looks like both of these are toggled off by default. And then camera basic mode reads as turns on basic camera streaming functionality to be used to debug serious camera issues when all other methods have failed. So that's a hidden feature in the dev channel. So um, like most hidden features, it could roll out for official testing, obviously not confirmed by Microsoft. And hidden features are code that Microsoft could be testing internally. And some of these even make their way, as you may well know, if you've viewed this channel for some time, even make their way down to the stable version. So I'll keep my eye on this. And if this does roll out for official testing, um, obviously we will um, find, out, find out sooner than later. And just putting it out there because this could, um, as the, um, the name implies, give you a more advanced camera setup. Or if you are using your camera quite a lot um, on Windows 11, then this may be a useful feature at the end of the day. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.